YSL Woody. Whole snitch. <laughs> I know it says YF and Lucci's name in the title, but that's because I think that's one of the people who he was actually talking about they wanted to take out. Yeah, he's a snitch. BBN Jack Frost Mike, Mike, Mike. What's up party people I so Yeah Now apparently There is a Y S L member, I don't know if he's still a part of the gangs that snitched that has been a corroborating witness for 11 years. Okay. Now I want to be clear about this. I don't want there to be no misunderstanding. I'm not sure if they're saying he was a witness for 11 years or whether he was a part of YSL for 11 years and he retroactively helped them out with cases when he decided to start helping them that dated back 11 years. This guy's name is YSL Woody. I mean, uh, first of all, can we just do this real talk? Uh, are they just inheriting these names from the names that they used to have when they were children? Because I don't think they get any shits on the streets. Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna play y'all the clips over here. You're gonna be able to seize with your own selves over here. And then I'm gonna come back with my commentaries. Investigative Flores can't offer you anything. We can let the district attorney's office know and down there that you were cooperative. The information I had, they they want to hear you right now. I mean, we can pass it to them. You say you pass it to them. I'll tell you something will happen today. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Somebody's supposed to get killed tonight. Who? You know who? I don't know who. But who? who is there so much going on in the city? I don't know who. You're gonna have to. Oh, yeah. You see that? There's so many. I, 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 I told you I love right there. Now. I, what do you say? People die every day in the city. If you can't be specific so we can do our job and save our life, you can't help yourself. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just going to tell you something. I've been to the feds. And, and what did you tell me about this, one of the feds? This is a murder that's about to take place with some very bad people. And this, the, the stuff that I know right now, now I mean, she should be able to help me get out of my situation. Now I mean, I, I'm not bullshit. You know the last information I gave y'all was right. That was just shooting up. Right. Okay. And then the and the only thing you went to jail for last time was the gun you had in Dunbar Rick. That's it. And what did you tell me about going to jail for five years? What did that do? It, it did, but it did. What did it do? It and guess what, Woody? What happened the other night when you were on Instagram Live antagonizing everybody and you left the window 656? What happened at that apartment complex two hours later? You seen that shit? Okay, what do you think? What do you think was the reason for that? I'm still trying to figure out. I, I'll tell you what it was. You on Instagram calling everybody out saying. Okay. Now I want to be clear about something. I am not. I know why Finn Lucci's name is in the title. I am not 100% certain that that is what they was talking about. But I want you to understand this. Remember, why Finn Lucci is one of the people that we know for certain that's still alive that they say that the government is saying that a uh, young thug had put a hit out on. There was a situation that happened when he was in jail. And then there was a second situation that was about to happen, or at least it was spoken about with young thug, quite possibly having somebody went to go at YF and Lucci 
Why why Fanucci was locked up? That's why his name is there. So I want to be I want to be clear about this with all certainty. He was asked. They said a name. The name that they said was Jeffrey. He nodded his head yes. Later on in the discussion, they said Young Thug, the the lady said Young Thug. He also alluded to that's what they were talking about. And just so we could be clear, he also <laughs> had the discussion with them. Rat y'all, I don't know what to say. Stay out of the streets. He also had the discussion just so we could be clear where they were talking. And they said, look, oh, pardon me. They were talking and he said, look, there's no reason for y'all to have picked me up. Something alluding to that, that everybody knows that he don't carry guns. So he doesn't have an excuse when they let him go. I think that's what he was trying to allude to. I'm not 100% sure. Go listen to it again. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. So I want to say this and I want to be clear. Do you remember when I told y'all that well, however this happened, they had an insider. I said, this is not the work of just a snitch or a rat. This is the work of somebody who is an informant. This is the work of somebody who was actively working to get people locked up. That's what I told y'all, remember? So listen, pay attention. They're saying, right, that the charges that are going back on YSL goes back to when? They're saying they go back to about 2015. Pay attention, right? Listen, remember they had that telephone that cannot now be used. I'm telling you what they're doing and I'm telling you why this was just leaked. Pay attention. This is leaked because they want to get evidence into court. So they're giving up their witness. They're giving up the individual who helped put them, who helped them to put this stuff together. Because right now they cannot use that phone. Remember the phone for everybody that don't know, there was a situation where young thugs house was raided. His home was raided in 2015. This is after the situation happened when Big Nut uh, lost his life. So what they did was they took all the Young Thug's possessions. They were supposed to return them. They did not return the phone. The reason why they didn't return the phone is because they wanted to put a tap or they wanted to, um, pardon me, they wanted to uh, get the information off of the phone, the data off of the phone, but the phone company was taking too long. So therefore, at the time that they were supposed to get the phone back, they weren't able to get all of the things off the phone that they wanted to get off of the phone. Then they kept the phone too long. So now that evidence, any evidence that they're saying came off of the phone cannot be used. Hold on, I'm about to go all the way He's in. So any evidence that they got off of the phone is now um, a fruit from the forbidden tree. They can't use it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, forget about the phone for two seconds. Y'all do know that often the police will pretend like they got information from one place when they really got it from a snitch. So that might be what they were trying to do. Uh, initially, they were trying to get a lot of evidence in without letting everyone know where the evidence came from so they can keep people on the inside that were working for them. People that would keep snitching. Because you know, once you snitch one time, it's kind of your over. They, I mean, you don't think they tell people? Yo, look, if you don't keep helping us, it'd be a shame if people find out why so-and-so went to jails. You do know that that happens, right? Like, this isn't make-believe land where people just assume that these things don't happen. That happens. The police use information like that, like how you previously helped them, in order to push you uh, to help them again and stay on their radar. Like... Once you become a snitch, once you snitch one time, you in it for life, homie. I, I, this is like bad boys <laughs> for life. So I want to be clear about this. And I want this to be totally understood. If you out here playing in the street, if you busy out there doing whatever criminality that you doing, I promise you, if you doing any type of crimes in any type of group where there's four people or more, there's at least one snitch. There's at least one guy that's not smart enough to not get caught by the police and then don't want to go to prison because he's also not tough enough to do that neither. So y'all better be careful out here. 
And I'm not saying this because I'm like, I want people to commit crimes and then stays freeze. I want people to stop committing crimes. Snitches is everywhere. The only way that you could really defeat snitches is to make it so there's nothing to snitch on. So stop killing each other. I can't tell you to stop making money because people got to feed their families. But stop killing each other. Stop with the violence. Because that's when the police pull up. They pull up because of the violence. What were they asking um, homeboy about? They were asking him about violence. What kind of stuff was he going to give up? Violence. You want to know why? Because the drug game fuels part of our economy, whether you realize it or not. Who is one of the biggest uh, investors in America? The tobacco industry. When you are smoking weed or smoking whatever drug you're smoking, nine times out of ten, you're spending money with the tobacco industry. <laughs> How you smoking it? So, the drug game, as, as terrible as it is, as much as the drug game hurts our community, one of the things that fuel our economy is the drug game. So, they're way more interest, interested in getting the violence off of the streets. Now, with that being said, so this dude was somebody who can literally call Thug and get him on the phone. He literally said he would call Thug and get him on the phone. So I just want to say this and put it down in the comment section. I want to know how y'all feel about this. If Young Thug was out here ordering hits and getting people hit, I know y'all love the music. That's the real music. Because we got people out here. I only want to hear about gangster music. And I only want real gangsters to talk about it. And every time they talk about it in their music. They need to have caught a body or two. There's dudes out here that's on that type of time. What I want to know is this. If this is true. If they have somebody that's on the inside. Like this Woody guy is. Obviously he's on the inside. Then that means that they have more than enough evidence to at least prove one of these murders against Thug. And I want to know. Put it down in the comic section. Who thinks Thug is coming home? Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. I think one of my most toxic traits is I go out to public, dress like this, and then I'd be like, why the fuck is everyone looking at me? Like, the fuck are y'all looking at? But like, girl, you know what they looking at. <laughs> you know what they looking at.